right, so welcome back to part three, the last part of our review video here. Um, so it says, find the measure of angle RST if ray SQ bisects angle RST. Okay, so first thing there, angle RST. There's RST. And it says ray SQ bisects it, so there's point Q. Now bisects this big angle, so that means that RSQ and QST are congruent. So RSQ is 3x plus 5, and QST is 5x minus 11. Now we know that angle RSQ is congruent to angle QST. And so we need to know that so we can set these equal to find x because we're not going to be able to find x unless we or find the measure of RST unless we know x. So this 3x plus 5 is equal to 5x minus 11. And we know that because we have an angle bisector in there. So solve this for x. 5 is equal to 2x minus 11. So add 11 to both sides. So 16 is 2x, which means that x is 8. Okay, x is equal to 8. And then now what we have to do is to find RST. We can plug in and then um, multiply it by 2 because they're congruent to each other. So uh, what I'm going to do is do the measure of angle RSQ. So 3 times 8 plus 5. So that's 24 plus 5, that's 29. And now RST is 2 times the size of RSQ because the two halves are equal to each other. So the measure of angle RST equals 2 times angle RSQ. So basically 2 times 29, which is going to be 58. <clears throat> so it's 58 degrees. All right, now the next one here. It says the measure of angle AER is X, and the measure of angle REB is X plus 9, and then the measure of angle AEB, so that's the whole thing, is 75. So this AER plus REB, they add up to be AEB. So the two pieces add together to make the whole thing. So X plus X plus 9 is equal to 75. And again, you need to have these initial equations. So 2X plus 9 is 75. So take away 9. So 2x is 66 divided by 2. x is 33. So there we go. Okay. Number 13. Um, this is like a little puzzle, okay? So it says draw two different figures, each of which satisfies all the conditions listed below. And then how are these figures related? Okay, I'm going to draw one, and I'm going to leave it up to you guys to draw the other one. Um, you're really only going to have to move one point, um, one or two points to make the other one. So there's five collinear points, A, B, C, D, and E. <clears throat> so they're all on the same line. And then they say C, A is equal to A, D. So right there, you see that C, A is equal to A, D? See the point A? I'm going to put that right in the middle. So here's A, and here's C, and there's D. And they said CA is congruent to AD. Now I'm putting A in the middle because I, I'm going to call A basically that midpoint of that whole segment there from C to D. Okay, now it says AB is congruent to BC. Hmm. So this would tell me that B has got to be between a and C, if we're going to make those uh, congruent there. 
So right here in the middle between, oh, didn't mean to take that away. Between A and C, I'm going to put B right in the middle. And that's going to make CB and BA congruent to each other. And I'll put that tick mark back on there. <clears throat> so that's how we satisfy that one. And then AD is congruent to DE. So from A to D, from D to E, has to be congruent. So since this has one tick mark on it, guess what this is going to get? One tick mark because AD has to be congruent to DE. Now something to notice. CA was congruent to AD, which is congruent to DE. So that right there is going to be the key for you drawing the other picture. So it's really just kind of going through and puzzling out where it's got to be. You might have to put your points down several times and then change up where they are. Okay, it's just a little puzzle. All right, next one. We're using this picture over here, um, and it says to identify each pair of angles as adjacent, vertical, complementary, supplementary, or as a linear pair. So angles one and two. Okay, so they're on this line here. Now they're not making a straight line, so they're not a linear pair, but they are right next to each other because they have the same vertex, and they're sharing this ray between them. So they are adjacent. And they're not complementary because we don't see that they're making a right angle there. Um, so yeah, that's about all they are is adjacent. Okay, one and four. Okay, what I like to do is I like to trace the lines for angle one. And then I can see I can extend them this way. So I'm making an X. And I can see the angle one and angle four are across from each other in this vertical uh, arm at these intersecting lines, so they are vertical angles. So one and four are vertical angles. And that means they are congruent. So you should mark that, I put the little marks. Okay, angles three and angle four. If I erase these lines here, you see this box. That means that this overall big angle is 90 degrees. And so angle three and angle four together make the 90 degrees. So what is the name for two angles that add up to 90? Complementary. And since they're right next to each other sharing this ray, they're also adjacent. All right, and then the last one here, um, angles one and angle five. All right, here's angle one, and then you keep going and go through angle five. They make this straight line. So they're making a straight line, so they're supplementary, but they're also adjacent because they're sharing this thing here. So that makes them a linear pair. That would be the most specific name for them is a linear pair because they're both adjacent and supplementary. Okay. Um, <clears throat> In the figure, ray XP and ray XT are opposite rays, so we've got a line going on here. And XQ bisects angle PXS. So here's PXS. Okay, so this ray XQ is cutting this in half. So angle QXS is congruent to angle PXQ. That's what we know from the bisecting. This PXQ right there, QXS. Um, it says the measure of angle TXS, so TXS is 4X minus 7, and then Oh, I'm sorry, I wrote the wrong one down. TXS is X plus 3. There we go. 
s x r so s to x to r so this whole thing right here is 2x plus 9 and then um, r x p is 4x minus 7 yeah or p yeah r x p okay so we've got three pieces here You have the first angle, I'm drawing here in orange. You have the second one, I'm highlighting here in blue. And then the third one, I'll do in green. So there's three big angles. Okay, right here in the middle, these two are combined under this umbrella of this 2x plus 9. So we need to find the measure of angle PXS, PXS. So that's going to be this 4X minus 7 together with this 2X plus 9. So we didn't really have to know that XQ was being a bisector at all, okay? So right here is what we got. But if you notice, look, if we start over here at point P and we go all the way over here and get to point T, if we add up all three angles, they're making this straight line along the bottom. So the three of them together have to add up to be 180. So 4x minus 7 plus this 2x plus 9 plus x plus 3 equals 180. And now we just combine like terms and we'll solve for x. So 4 and 2, that's 6 plus 1. So that's 7x. And then you have 9 and then minus 7. So that's 2. And then you add 3. So you have 5. So it's plus 5. That's equal 180. Take away 5 from both sides. So 7x is 175. And divide by 7, you get that x is 25. Okay, so x is 25. Now it says find the measure of angle PXS. So PXS, it's this one that I had highlighted in red originally. Okay, so that's all of this section right here. So this 4x minus 7 plus this 2x plus 9, that's PXS. And so we know x, so we'll just plug in. So the measure of angle PXS is 4x minus 7 plus 2x plus 9. Okay, so we got 6x plus 2. So 6 times 25 plus 2, it's 152. So that's angle PXS, 152 degrees. All right, now this one here. This is the measure of the supplement of an angle is twice more than the measure of the angle. All right, so supplement. So you have angle A plus angle B is equal to 180. So now it says the measure of the supplement, so angle B, is 12 more than twice the angle. So we have 2 times angle A plus 12. And so we have to find the measure of the angle and the supplement. So what I've done, I've had to write two equations. You have to have both of these. We know that the two angles add up to be 180 because they're supplements. And then it says the supplement, so that's the second one, is 12 more than, so plus 12, twice the measure of the angle, so 2 times angle A. <clears throat> and so now this is a system of equations. But you see we have angle B here. We're just going to substitute in. So A plus, and instead of B, I'm going to write 2A plus 12 is equal to 180. So 3A plus 12 is 180. So take away 12. So 3a is equal to 168, divide by 3, 
and you get a is 56 so you get one angle is 56 degrees and then the other one you can plug in here you do 2 times 56 plus 12 or you could just simply do 180 minus 56 and you get 124 and also if you do that 2 times 56 is 112 and 112 plus 12 is 124 not 125 So there you go. All right, guys. So that's it for the test review. Make sure you watch these. <clears throat> Make sure you're showing your work. You see how I have all this work here? This is how your paper needs to look on test day. So just follow that and you'll be good to go. See you tomorrow.